Hi everyone, hi it's Steve Pimmer X in the world of GT Online here on our GT Online video. Today's video all about the alien invasion. Alien UFO visiting us on today the 15th, 16th day of the Halloween event. Escalating towards the 31st of uh, October. As you can see, the weather, GTA and A online, changes drastically. Because there's five and more UFOs today, the event starts in GTA online between 7.30 and ends at 6.30am. So that's 7.30pm and 0.6.38am. As you can see, behind me with the intro, the weather drastically changes. The green, green effect, it's all really cool. We'll see this on the way. We've got quite a lot to travel. I'm all the way at Plato Bay, so the UFOs will spawn. So with that in mind, let's get going. So I have previously recorded this event about an hour ago but unfortunately it hasn't happened and I couldn't use the footage Everyone says, well I'll explain it on the way but I'll probably explain it again Everyone says today that the UFOs are approachable but they are not, they still disappear so there's something to keep in consideration. I think the main event actually starts tomorrow. The other UFOs will appear. See, that's good. See, they will, they've all spawned. Superb. See them in the background there. And, and uh, being that only five appear, number 13 to 17. Tomorrow, 13 to 26 appears, so I suspect that everyone will be able to get hold of it. You're obviously not looking to be uh, abducted, but the event will be open from then on. I suspect also we'll be getting our rewards, unless Rockstar have got something up their sleeve and uh, wait for the 31st. So you have to specifically wait till the 31st for a special event for them to release the the special rewards we get. So make sure I don't fly over the prison because we don't want we don't want the police chasing us. I will be repeating myself in this video a couple of times. I just want to make sure that I give you all the information. I might not use all this footage, I might not use this footage here, I just want to make sure I give myself all that option. Could be a pretty long video, that would, the whole event, sit down for the whole event, so you can see what's happening. But yeah, the last footage I did, number four disappeared on me when I got too close, which makes that maybe realise that it's not the abduction event, and the other UFOs will be appearing tomorrow. So we don't want to get too close. I really don't want to, I can't do this a third time. Let's just make sure we're not too close. I think we can get away with that. Every time I'll stop and uh, this looks a good point to do it. Right here. See both GFOs. Awesome. I say the weather's amazing. So here we are, where the first UFO is. The UFO will appear between 7.30pm and 6.30am. First 
UFO here at this headquarters. So let's go ahead and try and get this done as quickly as possible. I expect time I take this photo to get 15k and 1000 RP. It may not happen for me because I've already done this at UFO. But let's see if we can claim this event a second time. Alright, we gotta see if you can take a I want a second picture of this year four. I know it's not exactly in the perfect focus, but here we go. I know this looks like you can only claim these UFOs at once. So this is the one. Unfortunately, Amiga, you can only get one picture per day. But I'll be able to give you more pictures tomorrow as a lot more of the UFOs will appear tomorrow. According to my source days, they'll be An R13 appearing tomorrow. 13 UFOs in GT Online, which then I say, uh, then I'll uh, surmise that the event will start tomorrow. But as I said, Rockstar can be quite funny. They might have a, se a secondary 31st of the 31st October situation going where they take their pictures, where they, they do on our event. So let's go and take a picture of this one. This one should work because this one disappeared on me. Restrained the whole video, so I had to wait an hour, couple, an hour, half hour for for it to respawn. But if we go, oh, you can see it over there. It's, let's show you where it is in the map first, actually. We are, we are here at Tata Bima Mountains, just on the dam. Everyone knows this dam. And you'll be able to see where we were sent this one to Amiga. So I thought. There you go, Amiga. So the emails themselves don't really change. They're, there's they cycle between four or five of them, but they haven't changed for this part of the event. I'll be actually changed for tomorrow or then very first. Even on the channel, and uh, you'll find out as I find out. So let's go to the third one, which is here. I'll sleep today. As we fly, we'll make sure we're, I don't want any of them to disappear. But you can actually see them from view here. We see the dam where the where the bunker is. No bunker there. The facility. That was the word I was looking for. Facility. The most expensive one you think is the closest one, but that's a really bad. Really bad. Uh, Anyway, I'll probably cut that out of the video. <laughs> Second one, which is quite cool. I like this one because look at how, how it's set up. This one is, of course, this one here at Vinewood Hills. Again, we're just going to take the, go through the actions and take the picture. I have claimed this one before, so this won't work. How about that for a picture? I touched it with focus, but so we're not even twelve o'clock yet. There are six hours of GTA time for it to the event to end. I'm hoping to get to a bit of building, see them all flash and disappear. So that should be quite cool. I just don't want to get close, too close to that one.
fourth one. Also a vine with hills. Pretty cool, I've got nearly got four of them there. The one just over at this area here, I'll show you in a second. I'll just leave the map on as well. But yeah, look at the weather. It's pretty cool as well. What do is I'll just head towards the top of this mountain here, I'll show you where it is. And then we'll maybe cut to the last 30 seconds of the event and you'll see the weather change. So these UFOs will disappear if we get too close to them. So let's go and take our oh, let's uh let's check out the map. Right here. Pacific Bluffs. Again, this won't work for me. Looks like from you can't claim these ones. I can only claim them once. So let me go to the city. I'm thinking the uh, I'm thinking the city's gonna be a bit better so we can see them all. That all the nail looks pretty good. And I'll do the outro. So I've got a wee bit to go for them before they disappear, so we'll just chill on top of this building really close to the most of the UFOs and we'll see what happens when they disappear now and we'll see the weather change. I said I will cut that to that footage. You'll have to sit here for another 10 minutes through this part. A nice dismount samurai. As long as it's still up here, that's perfect. Oh, I nearly had all five in the view, but don't worry, we'll get a, bo we'll get a lot more tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> Another thir a 13 wall up here. The first seven we've already seen, so we'll probably not be able to see the ones again. But then the other nine new, new, new ones will appear, which we will be able to claim. So let's, let's have a little talk about them. Five UFOs today. You can claim all five by taking pictures. You get 15k per UFO, which makes 75k. And 5000 RP. That was hard maths for me there on the fly. You'll see them all appear. 
I'll, I'll show you where they are now on the map. One at Pacific Bluffs. One that right, there's actually two Vinewood Hills. This one being the thing, the Vinewood. Oh. Fourth one here at the new centre. And the uh, one at the Land Act Dam. Shame the number in proper focus. That was clever. Thank God there's stairs here. The event lasts between the event goes from 7.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. When I spawned in, I chose to spawn in at Pleto Bay. It allows the, it allows the weather to spawn you can see at the beginning of the video the, the weather changes and allows the UFOs to spawn in because you're not in the area. I don't know if it's still a thing but I found over the last couple of days that I had to be completely away from the area for the UFOs to spawn. If I was in the station after, if I was in the station after the spawn time and they were going to be here the event wouldn't happen for me. three of them here, all in the back through here. I have done this part before at a different area and the weather just changes but I did chase them all the way that last time I thought to myself well at least if number four disappeared on me I was I was going to be able to use the footage so I did some wee bit of testing to make them all disappear so what I'm saying is today is not the day where you can get update, the invasion hasn't actually begun, they're still checking the place out, getting closer to the city. All, all they've been getting closer to the city, they have repeated a couple of times, Rockstar updated the servers because people were reporting that they couldn't claim the UFOs. And when they could take their, uh, taking pictures of them, this is an issue because the UFOs they were reporting couldn't be seen it could be credited are the ones that only appeared once in the whole entire event so they couldn't get the special awards that were expecting either on the 28th or on the 31st. I'll show the rewards because I've done every single one of them so far, even done them duplicate just in case I, I missed them on another day. But yeah, it looks like we can only claim them once per event. You know, I was claiming other ones twice. By anyway. So tomorrow's event there will be 13 UFOs appearing, I think. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 13 UFOs appearing altogether, so now there's only seven. I suspect the seven that appear the first seven that appeared today will also appear tomorrow, will not be claimable. So tomorrow you'll be able to claim the other ones. We're down to the last hour now, which is only a couple more minutes in GTA 9. And then I expect the abduction situation will happen. If not, it will definitely be on 31st. Sorry I can't be more specific, we were expecting the abduction thing to happen today but now looking at the numbers, the numbers didn't show all the UFOs 
there has appeared yet, so that's why I'm expecting that the ones that do appear, the set tomorrow will be the ones that'll be able to abduct you. The ones today will just disappear. If you get too close to them, as I found out earlier in the last video I did, or virtually. Don't know how much of this video you'll see, I'm probably cutting a lot of it to keep down footage, just rambling and bambling on, try to make sure I've stayed there from Keep an eye on the channel. You'll see everything, all the rewards, everything that happens over the Halloween event. And hopefully, you're entertained with it. Hopefully, it's informative. And uh, if you haven't been able to do the event, then at least you'll be able to see what happens. They're starting to change again. Let's see, this is the first time I've seen it. Will these actually disappear? Or will they fade away? Or will they disappear in a big flash of light? I'm not sure. Lightning, I'm not sure what happens to them. So we'll find out in a second. All that. Look at that old cranium effect. Sun's coming out. Which marks the end of the event for the day. I think Rockstar was going for kind of like a dream state with this. I'll shut up now and let you enjoy the last couple of seconds. So we'll still end at 6.30. Which is limit, uh, about 30 seconds away. There you go. No, it's dramatic because well, it's been during the whole event week. But they have been a lot braver today than they were every other day. So there you go, guys. Bit let down with the fact that there was the production set content wasn't able to be actually today. Will unlikely be tomorrow. It was pretty cool. See a lot more. See five UFOs. You know where they are. You know what you get for taking pictures of them. Big got a bad view here. A wee bit blurry. Not fair enough. But now you know what happens to them. There are five UFOs. We only really seen four of them from this view, which you probably only see the two of them there. We only wanted to picture them all three of them, which we could see. Well, there's the first one. There's the second one. There's the third one. There's the fourth one. There's the fifth one. There's the sixth one. There's the seventh one. There's the eighth one. There's the ninth one. There's the tenth one. There's the eleventh one. So we'll probably see the abduction tomorrow, or they'll hold it for till the thirty first, or there might be two different types of event. They might do something tomorrow, and they might do something on the thirty first. But all the UFOs you can claim will peak if you have claimed from the twenty eighth, but the twenty fifth, the rest of them that you need will appear. Tomorrow, and for the next three days until the Halloween on the thirty-first. So we're just uh, got to figure out what's going to happen. We've got to do some testing. Hopefully, this video's been okay then. Hopefully, you got you found out what you needed to find out. 
sorry the pictures didn't really work for me this time. I have got the footage from when the first time I did it but it just wasn't usable after the fourth UFO disappeared on me. So yeah guys, uh, I'll leave it here in our early morning in GT Online under what it has in, in store for us. Hopefully that observatory at least keeps an eye out for all the UFOs, you know. <laughs> Records them all. Probably government already knows about them. Conspiracy, it's a big conspiracy, isn't it? Well, yeah guys, early morning QT online. Wonder what it has in mind for us today. If we play, have fun. just leaves me to check out from the video. Hope you're having a great day. Hopefully you're entertained. Hopefully you find out what you need to find out. Thanks for watching. I'm G Samurai X and I'm out. <laughs>